Kia ora koutou, no mai haere mai te awakairangi. Hello everyone and welcome to Te Awakaurangi, just north of Wellington. We're here in the finals of the New Zealand Mixed Ultimate Championships Division 1 2024. My name is Kelsey Bielek. And I'm Beck Sofa. Welcome. This is an absolute humdinger of a final. Uh, if, you've, if you're tuning in from the Opens final just before, insane energy is happening out in this crowd watching these games. They're so exciting. Uh, <laughs> if you are just tuning in now... Um, uh, to just the women's final. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, exciting to see you here. We have a, a rumbling matchup right now for first place. Both teams vying for it. Auckland showdown between the Misfits. They're in dark on the opposite side of your screen. Oh, just there. As opposed to the Fast Blueberries also hailing from Auckland in light. Ireland, a name no doubt that we will be saying a lot today with the disc ready for the pull. What are conditions like today, Beck? Uh, well, originally this morning overcast, but now the sun's really come out. It's hot out here. Uh, no wind to speak of, uh, which is showing as that disc goes up and just holds beautifully into the hands of Crystal Tan. Uh, looking for Menzies, uh, a, a duo that we've seen a lot working really well together this, uh, this particular tournament. Uh, Looking for Tan still, finding it difficult. Push Sends pass. A pop. Oh, top of the top. Oh, stall called. Um, I think they're just uh, establishing whether the stall's contested or not. The only difference really is essentially where the disc comes in uh, on the ground, where it is, or whether it comes in uh, where uh, Menzies was standing. And it looks like the stall's been retracted. Uh, ground's been tapped, and everything is live. Players back and running. So Ireland's picking up. It looks like she's accompanied by Swenson, helping her out in the backspace. Uh, such a great receiver in the deep space, though. Options, she engages Swenson. Another push pass. Looking, looking for to that the front open side. side. But there's too many there. It's crowded in that zone. Swings Catherine, to Fulton. Catherine Fulton recently selected for Manuka, possibly one of the youngest players ever to be selected Engaging for Manuka. Ireland. Surely. Oh, no. Hunsberger, what a matchup. Massive. I love that matchup. And I think nine times out of ten in all the other games, that, that likely would have gone off. But when you have a player like Hunsberger playing defense, yeah, she says not today. Menzies with the beautiful inside out. Claridge on the mark, trying to make her life hard. Menzies, oh, she wanted that inside, but no one quite there for it. She's looking for Tan. Strong. Bowen making it oh, difficult. That <gasps> was a high stall bailout. Some Great nice grab. support. Finding Mace downfield. Continuing to Hansberger. And oh she my gets. Gosh. Oh, not in. Looking for Menzies. Looking for the continuation. Waiting for the option to open up. Looks like she's. <gasps> Oh, a little bit of an overthrow. Oh, just out of the reach. And that breaks your heart. Ireland's picking up, giving Misfits another option on offense. High release forehand, flicks it over the top to Fulton. Fulton fakes the under. Bowen, an import from down south, uh, originally from Wellington. Oh, I love this movement. Finding Swinson. Ireland again. A beautiful leading pass. She's going to take her time to grab that. Claridge streaking deep, but... Ireland doesn't want it. She wants she wants Misfits to clean up the stack. It's a little bit messy. It's a little bit crowded. I love the comms, though. She's commanding the field. She's letting them know where she wants to be looking. Fulton with the disc now. Looking for Swinson oh, deep. What yes, an she option. Lily Bell's going as well. <gasps> Lily Bell with a massive. Oh, wow. Sawyer, huge. That is grab. such a difficult take. I think, again, Swinson was wide open. It would have been a little bit easier for her to run onto it. But as we say, if you can catch it, then catch it, whether on offense, whether on defense. And Glitch taking that to heart. We'll see it again here. I think that the reason maybe Sawyer took it earlier is because oh, sorry, sorry. there was <laughs> defense. Uh, there was defense coming in as well. She didn't know for sure that. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe Swinson would have been able to get there uh, maybe slightly in a less stressful fashion, but uh, Sawyer putting on a show for us. Massive grab. Again, Ooh. Hansberger was in that deep space, potentially looking for a repeat defensive play. But, but yeah, and it's more difficult to turn around and hold on to the disc there. Uh, a layout of rare fashion where she's taking to the air and landing backwards. Great to see it was clean, but, but yeah. Again, easier to, to run onto the disc, to take it in the breadbasket when you're facing it. So really just props to the expertise and the experience, the stickiness on her hands as she, she sees that into her hands and a really, really challenging take. 
Right now we've got Misfits now first point on the board and, and a few turnovers in that point, which is, I think, something we'll see hopefully tightening up between two teams. When you have a strong drill team like Blueberries here, strong drill, drill team like Misfits, they're really going to capitalize on whatever options are made available. Both teams uh, have been drilling all season, although there is a there is a difference in terms of experience uh, on these teams, uh, on paper at least. Uh, I think eight, eight of the Fast Blueberries teams ac uh, team is actually all Fight City players, uh, making that a third of their roster. Charles Charlesworth with a disc, uh, soon yes! to be known as Broadsworth, I believe. O'Leary looking for Windorp, looking downfield to Dolan. Dolan likely a name we'll hear more of in the zone. Wind up looking deep. Oh, an inside, inside flick to, to Broadsworth. <laughs> She's looking she for an open. <gasps> There's so much fun. Erica Chong oh, <laughs> holds on to it. And I love that. She's such a tenacious, fiery player, really bringing the speed and energy out. We saw before Tammy Lushai on Misfits doing such a great job of covering her deep look. And, and, and a second time there, though, challenging to keep up the same energy that Erica Chong's putting out as she holds on to it. Oh Matching goodness. the points, Blueberries we'll one on the board as well. Grab again. How did she manage to keep that in? <gasps> Just as she's falling, still manages to get it to hand. Ooh. Yeah, a another reach behind. Some incredible displays. Those those aren't easy catches. Both points we've seen on the board. Uh, while I said there was no win to speak of earlier, uh, it turns out I'm a little bit wrong uh, standing here now in the booth. And looking up at the trees, uh, there is a little bit of wind coming sort of a little bit diagonally uh, from the bottom left side of your screen to the top right. Um, again, it is up a hut. It's not as windy as central Wellington. That wind will come and go, but it's unlikely to get to get larger than a breeze. So Blueberry is right now breaking out of the huddle with their, their players on the field. Again, a lot of players who are representing Aotearoa New Zealand at the World Championships later this year on the Gold Coast in Australia, on Fight City, the women's team, Manuka, the mixed team, and, and also a lot of younger players just looking over at Misfits. Now, Beck, I know you've played with Misfits as well in the past, and, and so maybe you can comment on, on the skill and the experience. A lot of them are relatively young, but coming out with the, the throws, the repertoire, and the experience that you oftentimes see in well-tenured veteran players. Uh, yes, and that is uh, probably credit to Ian Stewart, their coach, uh, given that he's pulled a lot of them through uh, schools programs up in Auckland. Uh, their schools program is quite robust, meaning that while they are young, perhaps the amount of experience they have uh, is more than you might expect. Um, I mean, even so, they are still really young players, so, uh, you know, that tension, that pressure, they haven't experienced perhaps uh, finals like this before, uh, and I do know this is Misfits' first uh, Div 1 final that they've come to. Uh, with, they do have a lot of uh, ka pre former Kahu players, former U20 uh, women's players. Yes! Oh, a huge chest high layout from Ireland. Um, Fulton could have made it cleaner, but I'm so here for the... For the oh, and another one! Oh, just for the fans, they're making it exciting <laughs> for the finals. Finding Fulton again. These ladies, they're not afraid to throw their bodies around. Ooh, moving O'Leary on the mark until she finds the option, looking deep. She wants Ireland, and she's... Oh my goodness. Oh wow! And what a take, a clean point by McCall. Ireland's drawing all the defense with her and McCall says, thank you, I'll clean that up. Unsurprisingly, and you know, if I were a defender, I would be looking to support that as well. We saw Ireland with a layout catch before. She's not afraid to throw her body into space, whether horizontally, her horizontally, horizontally or vertically is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, firing there, and then Swinson as well, showing that there's so much depth, so many players on the team who are capable of making plays like that. Fulton launching it. Hmm. Uh, and yeah, and, and McCall just showing that she knows how to read better than, <laughs> than anyone else under that disc. Yeah, showing up a lot of the players out there. Woo! It's exciting play. Uh, hopefully, I think I think we're seeing maybe a little case of uh, first few point nerves out here, um, taking yeah. the options just a little bit wider, being a little bit maybe too wary of the defense, or uh, you know that hasn't really shown that they can actually put that pressure on yet. Um, the pressure is there, but we haven't seen uh, turnovers, perhaps because of the because of actual run through Ds yet. So yeah. 
And, yeah. and you may have noticed if you were watching the Open's final just before this, both teams, you know, there's some baubles. They're still maybe getting out of the woodwork a little bit, shaking off the cobwebs. But before, both teams warming up from, from halftime. So they were behind the fields, making those touches on the disc, getting familiar, warming up the legs again. Last day, sorry, last game of the tournament. So that, you know, the, the, the fatigue is setting in. But it has been a long tournament as well. Uh, three days, uh, three games, uh, and the first day, two games in th for each of these teams in the second and two games today. Big send. That's Lely Bender looking to bring that down. Oh, and she does. Oh, I Beautiful. love that. Absolutely Yon gorgeous to Bender. <laughs> I love the spike as well. And, and we did have a comment earlier from tournament organizer Emily Dinsdale, and she did mention that both teams, for reference, only have three discs, an interesting way of organizing it. Instead of leaving discs to the field, she said, these are your three discs to bring back to your club, and if you spike these and break them, <laughs> then then you're just down a disc, and you can only break three discs in a tournament. You, oh, sorry, two discs before your team has no more left. Love to see the celebration. Of course, always important to treat that plastic as if it's precious, which Bender is doing here she's preciously seeing it into her hands love that point blueberries responding in like kind and they're such a dynamic team they work the unders i like the give go movement they're really flowy and also here capitalizing on that deep space when it's an option um yeah misfits just slightly out of position but it's hard to play effective defense on such a dime hawk like that we see coach here in stewart um also coach of the u20 kahu team and has been for some time uh, he's really experienced in uh, mentoring players, uh, bringing them uh, perhaps out of their that school net sort of uh, pool and into the bigger pool of um, of uh, adult uh, open age frisbee. Uh, and, and a big question that I've had as well. Misfits has a large focus on development. I think the youngest player on their team is 14. Mm. Yeah, so, so quite young, but showing again a lot of expertise and poise on the field, a lot of maturity in the way they play. But with a lot of these players representing the New Zealand on the world stage, playing at this highest level, will they continue to develop as a team with the same core, or will they focus more on development? Uh, speaking of focusing on development, they just threw to that 14-year-old Petra Craddock. Uh, just... Again, you said poised. She's, I've never seen a 14-year-old so poised. Uh, oh, nice take from Fulton. Uh, the flick of her hand seems to be... Swinging back to Ireland. Ireland with the disc. Launches over Fulton the top, again. back to Fulton. Fulton assessing options. Moving to the middle. Lewis finding Ireland. Credit. A oh, a bit throw. of an elbow. She gets fingers to it, but it's just not enough. There was too much air under it. Great read, though. And Lushai on the mark. Menzies with the disc. She sends a Menzies big one. She's been asking it. for it. Hunsberg is trying to hunt it down. What and a match up! Oh, my goodness gracious. Huge. This, yeah. this game really is just delivering on action. Lays it all out. And she and Hunsberg are going to be teammates again on the New Zealand women's team. But here, showing what a formidable matchup they are together. I'm so excited to see more of that. And Hunsberger taking it, ripping it out of the skies, despite everything Ireland do to, to make up those yards. And it's such a brilliant execution from Menzies as well. One more time, seeing that Huck develop. Hunsberger's looking for it. And it comes down. Oh. I love the angle on that. So angle bringing it down to the ground exactly where Menzies wanted it, putting it into space for Hunsberger, and and such a dime throw. Again, if it had been more floaty, maybe Ireland could have had a better bite of it, a stronger chance. But just dropping it into Hunsberger's hands, Hunsberger attacking the disc, a and props to both players for keeping it clean as well. And we see a timeout called. Uh, Barry is doing their traditional. Uh, <laughs> Whenever there is a timeout, uh, I believe it's Crystal Tan always leading the dance circle. She's full of good vibes, uh, dances a side hustle, and uh, you can see she's got hustle on, on the floor. Um, just while their leadership uh, continues uh, chatting through, you know, different different small adjustments, we see Aiden Hurley, uh, Barry's coach. He actually is one of the few. Uh, <laughs> the few coaches here who had the opportunity to go for that double gold uh, win at Div 2 as well as a win here. Aiden Hurley was on the um, Opens team, NAS, who did come away with the win uh, down at Div 2 uh, in, in Christchurch uh, last weekend. Now looking to hunt down that double gold this weekend if he can. The other two, if anyone was interested, were Ethan Taylor and Peter Halbin, uh, coaches of the Groot and um, Wildcats teams respectively just in that final before.
Really great to see also with the developments of Ultimate across Aotearoa New Zealand, so many more teams coming out with coaches as opposed to just leading, leaving that with the players themselves. It's so much more challenging when you're trying to lead your team while also playing, focusing on your game and what you can do to improve as well as contributing part of your energy to assessing what's happening on the field, who else is playing well, especially if you want to tighten lines and, and provide feedback and ad adapt to how to shut down another team or, or focus on throwing around what, what they may be uh, putting on you defensively. So, so it's so nice to see that, that there's coaches filling those gaps, filling those spaces and providing that strategic port support on the sideline. I think the establishment of Div 2 also making that more of an option as there's quite a few players who could play Div 2 and support Div 1 or vice versa as well. It is great to see. Um, and this is a really interesting matchup. Uh, in pool play, uh, when they did meet each other in power pools, Misfits did come away with the win 12-6. But we have to ask, uh, with conditions a little bit different today, there is a little bit of wind in the air. Um, and perhaps during pool play, uh, Bears maybe not quite wanting to show all of their hand yet to uh, Misfits. Um, really, what the, what the outcome of this game is going to be, unpredictable. We see Yong, who's going to be pulling downfield. The disc is in her hands. A strong defensive line from Blueberries, bringing the big berry energy to the field. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's that's Huang. Huang sending it. It's going to be Bowen to pick up. Centering to Ireland. And a relatively deep stack, Fulton isolated. Oh, beautiful <laughs> high release play. You can see why. She sends one to Claridge, but Broadsworth, I think, is going to. Oh, just trying to get a sniff, but not enough. Sense just oh, oh and that's Crosby. <laughs> there is there's there's Woo! no COVID, there's no bacteria, there's 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 nothing detracting from the crystal shine of that offense. It's flawless, much like Beyonce. That that point was beautiful. Yeah. We love to see it. Uh Claridge, uh, a Wellington local, but uh, has played with a lot of the Kahoo girls in the past and just Loving the immaculate vibes that was on Misfits last year. Uh, deciding to come back this year. Just saying, you know what, uh, there's no place like home, but home is with my girls. It's with my girls. Also interesting, Charlesworth there, she's attacking the disc, and that can be really effective on defense sometimes. If you know you're, you're not going to get a read on it or play on it, especially if the offense is close on you by going early on defense, sometimes you can force the offense to also go early. It's not an issue. It's not an issue with Misfits there as, as they just read the disc really well. Yeah, Charlesworth may be thinking that it was going to drop a little bit more, but but props to that powerful huck that Fulton put up. And yeah, yeah, another point for Misfits. The game is now tied 3-3. Three, three. Mm. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Fulton, uh, yeah, a Manuka player, but a uh, person who walked away at that point, Crosby, Fighteri player. Uh, so a lot of these um, Blueberries on the other side will soon be her teammates when they head over to the Gold Coast and sort of, uh, I believe, around August uh, this year. Um, very exciting. Ireland is now going to be pulling for Misfits. There's a lot of points being scored in this end zone recently. Yeah. <laughs> oh, launching it downfield. Nice pull. Will it stay in? Oh, not quite. Bricked by uh, Huang, I believe. Huang supported by O'Leary and Weindorp. And Barry's in their horizontal stack. They, they've had, I think horizontal stack allows them to have such fluid movement on the field. Um, something they're so well known for just finding the open options. And one thing I really like with Blueberry style of play as well is that they are so patient when they get close to the end zone, so drilled with their defense. Dolan slashing across from the mm -hmm. side, but they find Wood to Wind Weindorp. Looking back midfield. Big mark by Craddock. Huang trying to cut down the line for her. Nice Sawyer defense. taking that away. Backwards to O'Leary. Across to Weindorp. Looking middle, can't center it to Wood. Looking and downfield, oh. looks off Dolan to hit. Fires to Chong. Barry's okay. really working to get open on offense right now. There's a strong defense that, that Misfits are playing, really forcing them to, to throw late, struggle to get open, or make tricky <gasps> throws. Huang. Sawyer taking a, trying to take a bite at that. Mm. She's an aggressive player from down south. Nice, big swing. Oh, oh talking oh, at Pete. Very great grab. One hand. Wong looking Wong downfield Wong again. Wood making an open side cut. There's, there's, they're struggling. There's such a late Oh, throws. scuba. We're getting creative here to get around uh, Misfit's mark. 
Credit. Oh, the credit nice throws her foot. Oh, oh, just out of the hands of O'Leary that time. You can ask her to make so many tough grabs, yeah. but one time, eventually, it's going to be one time too many. Respect. Respect. I'd love to see him give her an easy catch, but but that was, I think, that was Misfit's defense right there. The, the throws were late stalls. They were kind of bailout. They were tricky catches for the receivers. A lot of trust there, but yeah, only so many times. Ireland's throwing a wink over here at the camera. She picks up. Sussing out the options and looks to center. Sends one through to Tessa Swenson. Looking. Oh, surely that inside to yeah. Bowen. Bowen cuts open oh, side to make her. it easy for her. Looking downfield. Ooh, oh, she's, she's faking the. <gasps> oh, just a little execution error. Uh, maybe a little miscom about which way Ireland was going. Heartbreak to see that. Bowen's not going to be happy with that, but I'm sure she's going to clean that up as we as we continue. I, I'm also I'm looking at the field here, and all of the matchups get me so stoked. There's such challenge between between all of the players, such intelligent matchups between each. Oh, sending a big hug. Surely that's looking for Mace. Nice catch. Mace waiting for the team to catch up and run through. When you've caught it so far, you <gasps> Weindorp Have looking for O'Leary. Oh, it's just. She can't get there. Floats out of bounds. The pressure that's coming from both yes. both teams on defense is just immaculate. It's it's creating some really tough tough situations for those receivers, whether they're moving from the handle line uh, or in the downfield. It's there's pressure everywhere. And we like to say, you know, treasure the disc. It's so important to maintain possession. But here, it's really challenging. I think this is a really defensive game at the moment. We're seeing that scores are tied. They're quite low still. Oh, great continuation to Swinson. The wind is picking up. It is actually, oh, Sawyer with a cut. Oh, no. Ooh. See, perhaps something that when the teams, each of the teams were warming up, uh, they were warming up on the field a little bit further away from where we are. And honestly, I don't think the wind was much of a factor at that point, but it has picked up a little bit. Um, it's actually moving from the right side of your screen to the left. That's Huang picking up. Looked for Mace originally. Engaging the defense. Trying to get wind up. Oh, great cover. That's Craddock on the mark. Really pressuring Weindorp's catch, but Weindorp with a disc. Saul's getting high. She's looking for Ooh. options. Fires it high. Is it going to be in? It's not. OB out of bounds, floating out the back. Craddock, the 14-year-old Dynamo. Oh, my goodness. Putting pressure on uh, yeah. Weindorp. Also a former uh, U20s Kahu player. So goodness gracious. If I had to list or na try and name every single person on this field who had played for either Kahu or Fighter, we'd be here all day. So I'll try and stop doing that. And the yeah, the accolades <laughs> that both teams have in their, their Hall of Fame backgrounds. It's too many. There's too much. Swinson's such a deep threat. And Barry's recognizing that as they cover that. She's coming under, getting the massive under gainer, looking for options. Engaging Fulton. Fulton's dancing, but <gasps> she finds Ireland oh, instead. Dolan tries to get a piece of that Almost. contact. But not enough to stop Ireland getting it. Fulton again. Oh, Glenn. yes. Catherine Ca Fulton with the bombs all day. Claridge wants to get in there. She's boxing. Oh, she's beautiful box. Bikes it. Incredible read. Claridge, what an absolute champion. I'm stoked we're looking at the players on the field. This is where it's all happening. But if you guys could see the commentary booth and the smiles that we have plastered all over our faces. And this beautiful ultimate that we're watching against such strong defense. And both teams are fighting to get open. Yeah, cracks showing, but what a great matchup. One more time. You can see the way that she positions her cut initially. She just pushes her defender out to that far side a little bit, so then she can drop off and just take the disc happily with two hands. It's yeah. really impressive. It's almost a defensive offense, where mm. she's positioning her defender where she wants by taking up that physical space. Again, so much experience that this relatively um, age-wise, <laughs> looking at time as a, as a, as a linear young. function here. Yeah, yeah. age-wise relatively young, but the experience and the throws, the repertoire, the, the repetitions that they've put into the, the drills, the, they're such an experienced team. And it's, yeah, yeah, they're showing that. They're putting that all on display. It's all about trying to translate uh, their experience from from uh, tournaments uh, and things uh, where they've been versing people maybe closer to their own age into this really, really, in terms of experience, like really deep final uh, versus berries. Just, oh, because we see that there are players on berries as well who've gone through a very, very similar track as, <gasps> oh, mm, Crystal Ton overthrowing Menzies there, giving 
Ireland's another chance. Misfits another chance. She Watching wants to go back. big. She oh, does to Swinson. Swinson. Is it going to be out the back? It is. Yeah. I love that connection, though. That's one thing that gets really stuck to him. I'm really excited for more of those. Also, just to call out, one player that I've been really looking for in this match as well on Misfits is Brianna Murgatroyd. She's just come onto the field. She's such a powerhouse. I mean, I mean, it's a whole team of powerhouses, of course. But but excited to see her on the field and, uh, and, and contributing now as well. Uh, no doubt she's got some exciting things in store. Right now, defensively, as Crystal Tan is picking up the disc. Mm. She's really been blossoming over the last year uh, at tertiary... Um, tertiary champs managing I think to make it to the final or at least the top four she's been just playing with a lot of different players as well Laminati uh, here we are oh Fancies. Lucia with a with a strong mark such a clean player Menzies again she's gonna send that oh surely. Duffy looking for but it as we said her name oh. Bender oh. <laughs> just polishing that disc it, and it is shiny. It's clean as they're looking for, no doubt, that shiny silverware at the end of the day as well. What a great connection. Yeah, Murgatroyd near it, but uh, not marking yeah, as closely, maybe anticipating yeah. an undercut. We'll and, see it again here. Interesting to see Duffy setting that up, but mm. also incredible backup that, that Blueberries have shown us awareness and the importance of backing up the team. I love that celebration too. We do see berries with the big berry energy. Their, their entire team is on the field, uh, just ready to make sure that everyone's fully engaged in what's happening all the time. And I really love that uh, from their team. I think it's really important. Whenever you see teams where their sideline is perhaps not as engaged, uh, not giving as much information as they could be to their players on field, you're just, you're just doing yourself a disservice. You're uh, giving a bit of a disadvantage to your team comparatively. So now Barry's will be coming out on defense. Of note, I'm, I'm such a fan of the individual matchups. We haven't seen any zone. From Maybe either team, from despite either the wind picking up. Yeah, and and I, I fully respect that. I, I love the matchups, the person matchups here. And I'm stoked to see more of that. But but it's something that we could maybe see coming out of the woodwork later on. Teams like taking those strategies. It's the last game here. If you're going to leave it all out, you know, there's no more tricks left in the back pocket. Now is when you play all of your hands, all those tricks. So we'll see. But but uh, just goes downfield. Menzies with the pull and Ireland to field centering to <gasps> Fulton. Ooh, a one-handed grab, taking it high. Uh, it looks like Did just I as we've it? said <laughs> something about maybe a zone, it might have... It might have happened. Oh my gosh, Fulton takes that over the top. She's such a safe player. Yeah, with such an expensive range of options. Oh my gosh, what speaking of expensive range of options. Ireland. We see Lewis trying to cut back for her. Doesn't want that. She's such a quarterback in how she plays. She's, she's telling the downfielders where she wants them to be. Fulton now, incredible inside oh! out. Lewis, great grab. Sends it to McCall. Oh, that says no, she doesn't want credit. Sent it safely to Fulton. Far to Ireland. Ireland now with a disc. And and match downfield. It looks like Huntsberger's picking up oh, downfield. Fulton. The undercuts. Fulton with the disc now. Finding a wide open Ireland. To credit. Nice throw. <gasps> to Fulton. Oh, they're getting Gee. so close. Ireland with a disc. Swings to Lewis. A safe centering pass. Lewis a developing handler this year, and I'm loving to see her uh, expand her bag of tricks. Oh, McCall takes that disc. So again, this is the low side of the field they're on right now. It's not a hard oh, one. Oh, no. And it's a turnover. She she had a hand to it, but it's, diff it's difficult to catch the disc when you're in the air. <laughs> oh, I think I'm getting hats mixed up. That was Crosby. <laughs> So Barry's are going to have another chance on offense. We're seeing them set up in their classic horizontal stack. Uh, fewer mistakes these days, you know, these more, more recent points. But Barry's no doubt looking to maintain possession. Oh, Hard defense. Suffocating Mark. What a layout by Young. Yeah, great job keeping that disc alive. Fires to Menzies. Yeah. Oh, oh, Menzies she... wants it. Beautiful continuation to Young. Sends it. Oh, surely Fulton. <gasps> oh, Hansberger! And amongst, and amongst two different Misfits players. Ireland drags Fulton back up onto her feet with her. She knows that they have to keep moving. She knows that despite the fact that as individuals on their team, their work rate is really, really high. They need to keep their heads up. They need to keep moving. 
Uh, they can't let themselves get get beat down by an absolutely stunning score like that one was. Evelyn Hansberger. We want more. Such an incredible take. You know, you can't teach height, but on top of height, she has hops. She has the reach. She's got the speed. Yeah, such an incredible take. Again, under double coverage. So more time. Yeah, Misfits really patient with finding those options. But, yeah, but a testament to Blueberry's defense really shutting everything down. They couldn't get it into the end zone. That was Yong's layout. So nice. Every time the oh, disc... Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to watch. And then, and then finding Menzies. And every time the disc is in Menzies' hands, I just get so excited. I know good things are going to happen, whether she's going to launch it deep or, or find a really nice continuation. It's always safe with her. But you know what? It's also safe in the hands of Hansberger when she's in the end zone. <laughs> yeah. I think it was testament to um, Misfit's defense at the start of that point. They made it so stifling. They made it so hard. But mm. Berry's managing to get uh, get that space uh, with, with Yong's layout and then moving it immediately to Menzies. Yeah. meant that they did have, th uh, in terms of uh, matchups, there were, uh, there were Berry's ready to go. Uh, Similar to a training. zone, even when you're playing match defense, if you can move it and keep moving it, it can be really a lot easier to play offense, flowy offense off of that. Something Misfits are trying to do now. Sawyer with the disc, looking middle. Swinson, oh, O'Leary thought about sniffing that. Oh, nice give goes right now, finding Swinson. The Fulton-Swinson combo is delightful. Crosby gets involved as well. Oh, and just a little buttery puzzle of shy. Was she in bounds for that? It looks like, it looks she, looks like was. she was. Oh, I love that. Just trading points right now. Tied Slightly undercooked, again. but Lushai says that's the way I like it. Wow. Y you know, and this is why these teams, they can, they can scrimmage each other in Auckland, but it's for the fans. They're bringing it all out at the Div 1 championships at the finals. Great secure on that. Timeout called again by the looks of things. Uh, we're at 5-5. Five, five, five. So, Ooh. as per usual, this is going to be a game to 15 points. That means that half will be at 8. And as I always like to say, of course, you know, both teams vying to get to eight right now, setting their sights ahead, of course, to 15. But every point is, you know, you, you're just trying to get that one point on the board. You're always trying to focus on the achievable goals right ahead of you as opposed to, you know, in order to setting the stepping stones in order to get to the big ones. And, uh, yeah, what's ahead of you? So that's getting the next point on the board, whether that's generating a turn on defense or... Yeah, or keep playing some clean offense and scoring the points. It's 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 setting the goals stepwise. Yeah, to get there. I know that Berries have a lot of other defensive looks that we haven't seen yet. I know they have a sort of force middle, um, force middle. Uh, it, it almost looks like a sort of two three a two three two uh, zone in some ways, but it is actually match. Um, so we've got we've got uh, we've got something like that. We've got their uh, we've got their zone looks, obviously. I mean, I'm sure they've got a little bit, of, uh, a few different ways to tune those, to flex them, to make them look different and make the uh, handlers and uh, misfits uh, think again and think differently. Um, I, to be fair, with misfits, I haven't seen them throw a zone all tournament. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I haven't seen them throw a zone all tournament, so we may be seeing match out of them for uh, for this whole game. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if that works or whether um, uh, Ian Stewart tries to shake things up. I know that they will be picking those particular matchups. I know that they have, um, they often put uh, Ireland as a sort of a, they, they give her the option to poach essentially because. Roam. Yeah, <laughs> she's roaming the plains. Uh, <laughs> Just trying to just trying to hunt down some Ds, uh, which it, it, that's that's one of her favorite places to be, and is just what she's really good at. I love that. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, also a testament to the athleticism on the team if they're if they're choosing match, the athleticism and um, their ability to run through to to keep running the stamina to to maintain that speed and that energy and intensity with the the, the person match throughout the game as well. I would have the energy of the young. Whew. <laughs> All the berries. <laughs> Both teams absolutely full of energy. Um, when we see Misfits lining up ready, they, I mean, I believe timeouts are 60 seconds. Um, I believe. Yeah, so it looks like berries there, classically, they've broken the main core of the team is, is dancing. They're keeping energy up while the leadership core have a conversation, decide what they want to say and bring it back. I love that uh, that method of of providing feedback of sorting that out and bringing that to the team. But yeah, it's slow. <laughs> <laughs> 
right now. So no doubt discussing a plan for offense. They might be running a string. They might be running a pull play. Again, this is the time to be pulling the tricks. This is the time to show that you have the ace of spades and you're digging the hole for the other team as you're propping yourself up. Uh, so now's, now's the time to do it. Hopefully any well laid plans will not be spoiled by the wind. We do feel it picking up more and more here. This field a little bit notorious because of the bank and the buildings nearby for uh, sort of the first five to ten meters being um, less windy than the wind than the space above it. So you may see some discs that if they go higher being pushed um, in a way that looks unpredictable compared to those discs that are a bit closer to the ground. Ireland with the pull and we have Coral Huang picking up. Huang looking for options. The classic horizontal stack, cuts being initiated. It's Mace looking downfield, Broadsworth. Yeah. Moving to Dolan. <sighs> Makes a cut down the line, Dolan doesn't want it. Engaging. Back to Mace. Yeah, losing some yards there. Huang trying to set up for a down the line, doesn't get it, Sawyer covering great, it. Great defense right now, a lot of shut down, but fi finding Huang Gets it on the second time, and then sends a hug. Is it gonna stay the in? The wind oh! is blowing against that incredible footwork by Dolan. She really... <sighs> yeah, it, uh, potentially even better defense, but it looks like maybe not that that was a call, so there may have been contact. Let's take another look. Looks like... Looks like they're going up next to each other. Oh, oh, from here. I know I have thoughts on that. Yeah. But uh, what are your thoughts? My thoughts My thoughts don't matter. It's up to the players on the field. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and uh, just as we've said that that wind at higher altitudes is pushing that disc, uh, you can see a throw that would normally be much more towards the center of the zone, uh, giving Dolan a bit more uh, a bit more space to try and uh, grab that without having to tow it in, getting pushed right to that line. Um, yeah. Can we yeah. see it again? And also, you know, it's important when you're making a call on the field to know that it, it, it's good to give time to conversation, to assess what happened. But you can... It looks like it's contested. Contested foul. You, yeah. <laughs> good. Uh, good conversation. And we are also... Tensions are high. Spirits are high. Competition is high. And, and emotions are high. So, so nice to see that, that good conversation happening around that. The disc will be going back, yep, to the thrower. Sawyer trying to put on a hard mark for Huang. Huang looking to send it down the line to Mace. Mace, Mace. looking deep, sends a flat one, and it goes to ground. Goes to ground. So now, the second time around, we have misfits. It looks like Fulton will be retrieving the disc, giving them an opportunity. They have a long way to go, though in the coffin corner, so that's the slight downwind side now. She's got the wind as the, the third team on the field playing defense against her throw. Oh, it looks like it. <laughs> it maybe didn't come in. Yeah, uh, yeah, quite there. Okay, yeah, so she has a few more yards then. A much safer place to be. It can be scary to be on that downfield corner trapped on the end zone line, trapped, yeah, between the end zone line and the sideline. But yeah, looking at cuts out of a vertical stack, centering to Ireland. We see Swenson striking deep. Oh, snaking. And Bowen. She's showing her skills. How did Bowen get stress. there? Threading the needle. Ireland cuts around for the reset. And we see Craddock and Fulton cutting kind of to the same, near the same area. Fulton's pointing. She knows what she wants, but her downfield's not giving it to her. Resets to Ireland. Ireland finds <gasps> Swenson. You can see that little bit of a bobble on the disc. The wind is getting involved. <gasps> oh, no. Foul called. Yeah, it wasn't really leading. I mean, she put that right to her, which is challenging when you have a player like Mace who's right there. But yeah, Ireland calling the foul. Let's see it one more time. Her argument may be that she couldn't have digged the disc without creating contact afterwards, which is, that is if, for example, you can't, uh, if, if you know uh, jumping to get a disc might send you, will send you flying into another player and there will be a lot of contact there. That's that's not a legal bid. You are you're the one creating contact in that instance. Um, but uh, yeah, hard to yeah. Also yeah yeah. So it's up to them on the field. Not sure what approach she's taking or what angle it is, or yeah. maybe if she thought there was contact before or or after. So so it contested. Looks like an, yeah. yeah, contested call. So that'll be going back to Swinson. Yeah, and I think that's the right outcome. We're just players. 
aren't sure whether or not something affected play, perhaps whether if there was any a little bit of contact afterwards or uh, before, whether it actually stopped it from being able to make the catch. Sounds like the disc will be coming in at stall three, so still seven more seconds to go. Swinson looking for options. Fulton's coming under, but she engages Ireland again, this time with a bit more space. Gives and goes, back to Swinson. Centering to Fulton. Losing yards here. Yeah, buries with hard Bowen. defense. Bowen. Oh, ball. I love it. Oh, she <laughs> big fake. She wanted to send it. Not sure if maybe that was quite on Fulton. Moving the disc. Nice movement. Sawyer. Oh, low disc. Scooped by Swenson. Yeah, not an issue for her. Credit making a break side cut. Engaging. Bowen's right there. Bowen's there too. Defense by Charlesworth. Some nice handler movement. They're really relying on this handler weave because downfield there, there's not a lot of options available. I think we are seeing that force middle. Uh, oh, Ireland's going to take that early, and she does. Huge peak on that. Oh, yep. I. Wait, wait, wait. I think I think there was a either a contact or a foul called. Um, with a contact, there's no stoppage. With a foul, there is. Um, she didn't contest. Uh, there's some sort of pick happening downfield. I think just coming out, out of that call, because it went so quickly, um, I think Mace immediately uncontested uh, and then uh, tried to go straight back into it, but other players were maybe not sure that where the play was back in. Fulton. Oh, Broadsworth getting a getting clo a hand close to that. Craddock looking oh, to cut down the line. Great cuts developing downfield, but again, some really strong defense by Berries, making it just that much harder. Sawyer looking for Ireland, looking for Fulton. Fulton with the disc. Bowen. Bowen just making herself really available. Oh my goodness, scooped. And that's that's uh, Lila. Uh, great take. I, I also want to just highlight the defense that Coral Huang was playing there. She was out of position. She was on the open side, not expecting, she, doing her job, not expecting that it was going to go to the break side, but recovers. She's contesting that catch. She's in position. She's so quick on her feet, getting into position to contest that point, but but not quite strong enough. Lila Cook, cooking something, cooking something good in the end zone. Yeah, yeah, great point. So now we have Misfits will be coming out on defense after that that awesome point. Um, the score now five to six, Misfits up by one more point. Testament to the work rate of Zaria Ireland. I don't think I've seen her sub yet. <laughs> Incredibly fit, uh, fast and furious, just like the blueberries. <laughs> She's putting it all out there for this final. She knows that she wants to be involved in every point so far. She's living her life, yeah, a quarter mile at a time. Oh, yeah. That is 400 meters, point after point, just looking ahead to the next one with not her friends, but her family all out there together. And we've got Blueberries, meanwhile, coming out on offense, looking for a clean hold, no doubt. And when, again, gusty conditions, it's died a little bit. So, yeah, great time to be taking this pull from Ireland launches it downfield. I would like to see both teams starting to adjust a little bit with the wind in terms of defense. They know that the low side of the field is that far side uh, towards the top of your screen. Menzies with the disc. Roll on Mark. Trying to stop the huck. She's moving the mark around with those big fakes. Matthews and Menzies. Looking, Looking at Duffy maybe. Hunsberger. I love that cut from Hunsberger. Looked off. Duffy too wide open on the under. <gasps> oh, takes it <laughs> just over the top 10. With the reset. She's looking for options. She wanted, oh, big over the top. Is anyone going to get there? Murgatrod trying to bid. <gasps> oh, but it's Duffy with the points. She's fiery on the field, and I love her ponytail of fire as well. She's so <laughs> iconic. Yeah, and a great take. I think that was a, a bit of a last ditch, you know, getting high stall. She was excited for options, launches it up, and the height there was to her team's advantage. Definitely Duffy's advantage. I think Tan. Uh, I think Tan wanted maybe. Uh, I, Hunsberger coming under for quite a few of these, and yeah. and I like how. <gasps> open so shot. close on that one, but so clean. <laughs> so clean, yeah. So close and so clean. Uh, delightful. I, I'm really liking that Hunsberger's uh, recognizing that uh, Misfits has also recognized that she's such a threat in the deep. Mm -hmm. They're making that really difficult for her. Yeah. And saying, you know what? Okay, I'll go get the unders. Go get the unders. Yeah, Barry's to yet recognize that. 
A few wonders looked off there, but you know, it, it worked. It worked. So now they'll be coming up, tying up the point at sixes and Menzies with the pull. I, oh, she's such a good player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see this. Uh, uh, we may be, yeah, we're seeing the same sort of handle line that we have seen uh, with Berries on their D line. It is Menzies, Tan, and Yong. Uh, just really fiery players. And it wasn't an issue before for Misfits with the zone they pulled, but at the same time again, keeping Misfits on their toes. We have Ireland fielding the disc to Fulton. And we see a zone. <laughs> Just as you said it, it appears. Ireland. Young on the mark. I think they need to recognize they need some uh, more support closer to the disc. Swinson coming in. And I love, I love the way they've set up this zone. It's so intelligent. I really, really want to see Bowen get involved. I know that she's played a lot in Wellington. She knows the shapes of zones. Oh, no. Tries to thread it through. Uh, Lely Bender reads that play and says, oh, no, thank you. She accelerates into that D. I love it. Yeah. Menzies picking up. Sawyer on the mark. And cuts They're making an early cut. Negative. Inside break. They're what? looking for Matthews, but it's just too far. That is a hard, it's a hard throw. It's a really difficult throw. Out of all of the options that you have on field, that was maybe the most difficult one. Yeah. You don't love it. Don't love it. But um, I mean, D-line, you know, uh, yeah. D-line, special, special people. I'm usually on D-line myself. Special we get ops. ants in our pants. We see, we see someone who we're like, I could send that. And, uh, <laughs> and perhaps rightly or wrongly, we do it when maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> and, and, you know, they're just hungry to make another big defensive play. So we'll see them working at that right now as Misfits are working <gasps> to chip away oh, the zone. No. Oh. Hunsberger gets a touch on it. Out of all of the players to try and go over oh, top of yeah. Hunsberger, maybe the tallest on field. Yeah, you see, the best option. can't go through it, can't go around it. You, you can't go over it with Hunsberger there either, though. <laughs> you can't. Uh, Minzy's calling a timeout. Interesting. Yeah, tension's heating up. We can hear that pressure. We can hear it. <laughs> we can feel it. You know, heat rising from the field. They're tied at sixes. So again, they're, they're, each team is respectively trying to make half. So yeah, I, I get that. They're going to set up an end zone play. They're going to see who's firing and maybe try to isolate them. Smart idea. Uh, and I mean, they should have been practicing their set plays, their isolation plays in the zone all tournament. So they should have... They should have something ready in the bag for this. Uh, hopefully looking to get that, uh, th th maybe <laughs> maybe the movement through the timeout, perhaps a little bit quicker than the last one. Uh, but I mean, you know, it's not really, <laughs> it's not really a problem unless a team calls it. Yeah. Uh, and I think maybe Misfits with a smaller roster might, uh, might actually be grateful for the rest. Uh, they have been working really hard across the tournament. Uh, and also knowing that, um, Similar to some other players like uh, Hammertron, um, uh, they often do play through some very key players. So those players' work rates are really, really high. Um, and I mean, if you can shut down those players, uh, please let us know in the booth how. Because um, I mean, despite the fact they seem to be playing savage, they don't really, yeah, don't really seem to be faced by that. And here we can see the trophies that the teams are vying for. You know, one's going to come away with the gold and one's going to come away with the silver. There's some beautiful, beautiful medals that have been set up for this tournament, though. Obviously, a gold's a gold, a silver's a silver, but but they are quite pretty. They're gorgeous. <laughs> they are nice. Um, and Barry is really looking. Um, they were in the finals of Div 1 last year, ended up uh, going down to the Australian team Ellipsis, who had come over, come over to make a splash, and a splash they did. Um, Taking out Nexus, I think, in uh, semis, which surprising, uh, <laughs> a bit of an upset, I think, uh, given uh, Ellipsis had originally, um, I think they lost to Misfits in pool play, who got kicked out of, uh, <laughs> got kicked out of um, semis uh, by Cannons. So it's <laughs> Women's Ultimate, uh, just match. getting really, really competitive all over the place. We'd love to see it. Love to see it. So Menzies with the disc, and interesting to see. Uh, I think the force is still forehand, still open side. Yep. Could Bender have switched looking oh. like she's being isolated. Yeah, looking like Bender isolated. Surely. Oh, hugging on field, yes. They both know what each other is going to try to do. It's uh, such a good match. I'm so stoked T Tessa Swinson is on that mark as well. On that pearl. Oh, <laughs> Crystal Tan moving early. <gasps> Inside to Bender. Bender looking for Matthews. My goodness. In. 
In Ooh. or not in, not in. Uh, she bounce. shouldn't have moved back to where she landed, though. Uh, th I think that, yeah, Zaria's calling that. Or maybe she's calling that. She should. Uh, well, if you if you don't, if you're not in and your momentum carries, you need to stay where you end up. Anyway, Menzies with the disc. Oh, nice. Looking A wide tan. open tan. Oh, nice give and go. Looking to engage tan again. Tan really, really turning up right now. I love to see that. Engaging Menzies, coming around. Some really nice handler movement. Ooh, looking <gasps> break. And that's Matthews to score. What a good point. And, and I think I mentioned this briefly before, but one thing that I love about Blueberry's offense is how chilly and calm they are right next to the end zone. They don't fire anything that's not 100% there, which kind of hurts my feelings when I see again Huntsberger with the others. <laughs> but, but also props. I love Crystal Tan's step up. She just like dominates that space with Menzies. And then and they're just they're just waiting for the right options to open up, knowing that, that the downfield is gonna give them that. There's so much trust on this team. Oh how good. A little punnet of blueberries bringing that big, big, juicy <laughs> berry energy. <laughs> and they are all on field. You can see them as a conglomerate berry. Uh, oh, yes. like a pineapple. <laughs> oh, yes. Which uh, the berries actually are the eyes of the pineapple. Uh, and when they you know, when they grow out they just merge together. Oh wow. That's a thing, yeah. Wow. Oh, so Fun the facts. little diamonds. Yeah, the little diamonds the are actually oh. each an individual berry. There you go. Learning and growing together. Not about <laughs> what's happening on the field. <laughs> I mean, and, 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 uh, you know, when we're waiting for uh, the play to start, we might as well have some fun facts. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, put that one in the back pocket for quiz night. Lots of quiz nights, no doubt, being organized as teams are fundraising. Uh, so yeah, for the upcoming World Championships as well. An expensive, <laughs> expensive time, but, but yeah, looking, no doubt, for support for, for flights, uniforms, training camps. And yeah, anyway, want to keep in the back pocket. But meanwhile, we have Blueberries coming out on defense, Menzies with the disc, and that timeout successful for them there. Menzies. Here we go. I would maybe like to see someone from Misfits down on that line. I'm not sure if perhaps there's some offsides. Fulton, Fulton. with the disc. Ireland. Looking. Oh, Swinson's gone and it's Ooh, and so yes. the disc. Oh, yes. Hunsberger matching up. Oh, sugar. I <laughs> thought she was there. It, hey. It, the, way the, the way that disc came out of her hand, I'm not sure if she had control. It looks like maybe something like. Because sometimes when you see a disc sort of like fling out, it suggests that maybe there was some resistance stopping it from originally being pushed that way. Or, ooh, oh, ooh, yeah. Ooh. Hard to I, see. Hard I, to tell how much. Because, I mean, even if she had two fingers around it, trapping it between those two fingers, meaning that she could have come down with the disc, if any contact after that hitting the disc meant that it came out of her hand, it would still be a strip foul. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it looks like it might be an uncontested strip. Great spirit. Great Chats. spirit there. <laughs> what a contest. What a contest. I love that matchup. Swinson just attacking it a little bit faster than Hunsberger. Tapping Swinson it in. Looking for some help. Murgatroyd trying to set up a dump cut, but maybe. Oh, Ireland's there for <sighs> She's going to hate that. I hate that. <laughs> Absolutely mad at herself about that one. I think she was already thinking about the options she wanted to throw to. Yeah, we see it plague everyone. We saw it in, in the last finals as well, the Opens finals, that players, when you're thinking ahead at the next throw and you're just not focusing on making the catch, it gives wide open opportunity right now, for example. We're finally offense. getting that under that she's wanted this <laughs> for the last couple of points. Cook on Mark. Murgatroyd okay. trying to stop Menzies. Menzies. Oh, <laughs> this big zippy uh, pivots she has. Broadsworth to Menzies. <laughs> yes, yeah, she, yeah, she wants it. She, she, she up, wants Holly. Some, some great poachy defense right now from from Misfits, making things hard downfield. Yeah, Murgatroyd mm. just sagging into that space. Oh, a Mace soft and, uh, and Bender trying to go for the same disc. Yeah, that soft scuba landed short, but they both ran onto it. O'Leary sending to Broadsworth. Charlesworth with the disc. Finds Hansberger wide. Oh. Tempting options available. Cutting Menzies down the line. fighting to get open. I love that cut. Surely, Looking for surely. Charlesworth with the points. What a point. And that's half. They've taken half. Massive wow. point. That's a huge swing in momentum. Uh, 
Hoping that Misfits, uh, the slightly less experienced team in, uh, in games like this, in this type of division, aren't going to let that get to their heads too much. They have been playing great ultimate, and we want to see more of it. We don't want them to go down without a massive fight oh. or to fight back, uh, like we have seen in, uh, <laughs> in so many of the streamed games so far in this Div 1. No score is safe, no especially not 6-8. Absolutely not. Yeah, it's still anyone's match. But we have yet to see that in the second half. Folks, stay tuned. We're probably going to just take some deep breaths over here, but we're not going anywhere. Um, and we'll be back shortly with the second half of this, the women's final for the Division One New Zealand Ultimate Championships. Matewa. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond.
Kia ora koutou, haere mai haere mau. Welcome to the second half of the New Zealand Ultimate Championships 2024 Women's Final. This is a massive game between Fast Blueberries of Auckland and Misfits also of Auckland. A game of experience versus uh, more experience uh, and slightly less years. Uh, we're seeing the pool originally go up. Um, going out, uh, something that teams... Um, I'm not really sure if they've adjusted yet. Uh, there has been wind picking up throughout this game. It's moving from the bottom of your screen across. Um. Also, as with the first half, I'm Kelsey Bielek, and, and that was Bex over there. Sorry. The veteran, the bomb squad. She's played with Misfits in the past. She's got the insights and the knowledge. And, and the conditions are varying, you know? We can feel the wind dying, and then it gusts up, so it might be manipulating some of those throws. So, um, fast Blueberries took half there. Score 8-6, hotly contested by Misfits, though it's still anyone's game. Fulton working to get open. Ireland Sends a big hug. deep. Claridge, maybe? No. It's a wind up. Looking middle, O'Leary. Oh, nice find. Oh, really making Menzies work for it and work a little bit too hard. Crosby's already gone. Ireland looking. No mark. Opts for a safe under to Crosby. Crosby looking in that, maybe in that back corner of the zone. Gets Lewis. Lewis looking for Swin Swinson. Swinson now. Fulton surely. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yes. No. Oh, no. Oh, she's going to she's gonna be upset about that in the replays. Looks like uh, she stumbled a little bit. It, and, it, and <sighs> Perhaps just a bit of a ground strip because of the stumble. She just lost her lost hands on it because of the loss in footing. Mm. Uh, no doubt she's going to work really hard to get it back. She's one of the absolute workhorses of misfits. Mm -hmm. uh, her work rate, uh, Swinson's, Ireland's work rates cannot be overstated here. So off to the races right now, Furious Blueberry, sorry, that's Fast Blueberries off, you know, just cutting up, stall zero, trying to make options happen, make looks open. And as with the first half, it's some really strong <gasps> defense, contesting Huck. everything. Weindorp looking for Duffy. She's going to take that easily. Eyes into the yep, sun, though. Strong deep receiver she is. Sands a big oh, one around to Hunsberger. Hunsberger. Tries Why? to tow it and not in. <laughs> I make it harder than it needs to be. I just a gentle leading pass. If you're really going to tow it in, you've got to do it Wellington style. Hunsberger engages Menzies. Menzies looking and yes. sends it to oh, O'Leary. My goodness. Wow. And that looks like oh. a break coming out of half. Berry is getting massive hype. That big and Berry energy. I think this is such a good example of the reason it's so important to treasure the disc. You know, misfits yeah not uh, not to knock in any way the almost point they had but that was that was you know millimeters away from being a point and here that that slight bobble in the end zone led to berries scoring such a beautiful point every possession every throw and catch is precious it's important and yeah again i, I would have done that again fulton's cut was so mint it was so close to being a point, but yeah, if, if you do make a turnover, a testament, Barry's can capitalize, can and will capitalize on, on situations like that. Yeah, to, to score it. Now, three points ahead. Three points ahead, but as we have seen, three points isn't a safe margin uh, by any stretch. I'm not sure if you can hear it in the mics yet, but uh, that wind, again, is still picking up a little bit more and more. Uh, again, coming from the bottom of your screen, going to the top, it's crosswind. Uh, perhaps stronger than uh, Auckland teams might like. Uh, some Wellington players might call this a thrower's breeze. It really depends on your inclination. I really want to see right now, we see coach Ian Stewart chatting to this offensive Misfits line. I would like to see a string. I think that there's mm. been some minor bubbles and, and a string or a, a pull play, a set called play is such an effective way to uh, lock everyone in, ensure that there's awareness and direction uh, in your role and what you're supposed to do at that point. I think it would be a really effective way to quickly put one on the board for Misfits. Ireland. Bowen. Ireland. And Nothing zone. happening downfield. I think perhaps maybe if there was a... Oh, Bell! Lily Bell! Oh, Sawyer with a great juggle. Uh, a difficult disc to grab. I think that... Oh, Dolan with the run through D. What Just vision. That space. That disc going to Craddock and said absolutely not. You I think even if Misfits had a string play, they maybe weren't expecting the zone coming out. Can be effective way to shut things down. Huang with the disc. Throwing off, faking that undercut. A good way to tell your <gasps> offensive player. Sawyer, huge bid, not enough. Chang with the disc, looking downfield. Oh, big fake. Huang no, with I, oh. a big strike cut. 
fakes the open side again, Lots engages the reset. Big it. step out, finding Chong. Chong looking for options. Sawyer comes in, putting more pressure on the throws. Engages Bowen. the open side. Ooh. Trying to get a bite at that, not enough. Oh, but out of, oh, huge pick up by Wood. Manuka player. Consistent. Up her, uh, her teammate. Berries are consistent with this. We've seen it in the first half time and time again. When they back up their players, that can be all they need for a point. Yeah. And this is something that we do sometimes see uh, after half hits. Um, just that consistent pressure and that consistent uh, just having to grind and grind and grind can sometimes make teams just, just lose that edge that they perhaps had in that first half. Uh, and in this case at the moment, uh, going the way of berries, we'll see if momentum changes, but at the moment, that big berry energy, I'm going to start calling it pineapple energy <laughs> uh, because it is the biggest berry. Uh, pineapple energy on field. They're really, they're really bringing it together. Yeah, but love to see Wood. She's so good with her awareness on the field. She's a very, um, in the most positive way, she's a very sneaky player. Mm. She knows how to get open without working hard she also knows how to work so hard and, and grinds through points but i think just a testament to her play style is that she knows where to be on the field she's really intelligent her in her decision making and where she is and it works so well for her she makes things happen she makes magic happen and she cleans up points like that knowing where she needs to be to be effective mm. for the team you don't necessarily have to beat people in a foot race if yeah. your spatial awareness if your positioning is just perfect yeah exactly we have Menzies with the disc now. Yep, certainly something that many of the players on Misfits may not have developed to the extent that the Berries players have just because of the sheer uh, years of experience that Berries have. Uh, Misfits making up for it in athleticism and pure spice. Pure spice, Fulton fakes the D. Bender knowing that that's a risk, a real loose mark by <gasps> Ireland. Huge one-handed grab, she wants to send it deep. She's got two people going, <gasps> Crosby with a nice grab nice from that grab. over the top. And the, Swinson is open consistently, but I think Misfits recognizing with Hansberger in that deep space, any high disc is going to be a threat. A high release Fulton. goes to Fulton. Oh my goodness, it's really tight in here. There's not a lot of space to work with. Ireland making it work though. She wants that corner. She's got a high release forehand, we know. Fulton going to ground to love keep that. that up. I love that. She wants someone going hard to that other corner. They've moved the dish to the middle. They've got the space to do it. Tan making a bid. Swinson, I think she was open. I on think that cover. she was too, but perhaps in terms of the angle, maybe Bender just being in the way that. <gasps> Firing an inside oh! out. Oh. Huge bid, huge D. Oh, wait. Uh, like there's not a call. Hmm. So what happened here? Oh, uh, Crosby? Foul? Yeah. Indicating a foul. Oh, trying to figure out. Uh, Sorry, who's talking? Weird. Is that Ireland? Unsure of who called the foul. We'll see this again. Oh, nice defensive play there. Clean and straight to the ground. Looks like a clean release. So, yeah, cutting back to the field. So the disc is going to go back to Ireland. And to getting that it impacted the play. There we go. Ireland assessing options, swinging Fulton. to Fulton. Looking down to Crosby. Not enough, sends it back to Ireland. Getting a little bit close with Swinson and Hunsberger. Ireland wants something and she's <laughs> looking for options. Fight! Oh, Fulton. no! No. You can't keep making Catherine Fulton lay out. She's signaling no. injury. That was a massive I one. I want to see them throw to Tessa Swinson some more. She's working really hard to get open, and, and she's being looked off. And maybe the timing is slightly off. The, the handlers aren't ready. Sometimes if you're not ready to throw it, good to see Fulton walking off the field, though. You know, maybe she just knocks the air out of her lungs. Sometimes you need to take a breath and just... Make sure you feel okay, especially if adrenaline is high. Look, I always say, if in doubt, sub it out. Yeah. Uh, you just need to shake it off, see if there's anything actually wrong. It's fine if there's not. It's fine if there's not. Like, you needed the moment at the time that you got it. That's fine. Especially such a pivotal player as as um, Fulton on the field. Nothing worse than uh, staying on field and doing something worse to yourself. Menzies swings to Ton. Ton finding Menzies again. 
Yeah, she's loud in what she wants. Huntsberger <laughs> striking a cross. She's so poached, oh. guys. <laughs> nice job. How Hold on. She keeps that in hand when she went to ground. We talk about ground strips. The ground is there. Sometimes when you fall down, it can bump it out of your hands, but not an issue for her. Yong sending one through the middle to Bender. Bender faking. Something. Big shoulder fakes, looking for Huntsberger. Ireland in hot pursuit. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. Ireland saw that. Her plate had been looked off, wasn't getting the disc, and said, you know what? I am. Showing a bit of foresight, much like Dolan before. Lushai wants something. Sends a big rolly. <laughs> you know what? Is that up? That's up! I asked for it, Becca. I asked for it, and, and they delivered. <laughs> Winston open deep. I said, I want to see them throw to her. Yeah, but but be a bit nicer. She had yeah. space going. She had more space in the zone than that. You could have. Anyway, Lushai oh, takes the, the option she gets given. The fans loved it. Yeah, I it loved it. It was a it. throw for the finals. It was a throw for the oh. fans saying, hey, to Sis Winston, I'm really sorry. You're my teammate. I could make this easier for you, but I'm keen to put you on the highlight reel here, mate. Uh, I'm keen to make, you know, the fans want to, you know, cheer, get a rise, bring the energy up. And, 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 Props to Tessa Swinson for, for reeling that in and seeing it as a point. Oh, I love not, it. Not just the fans getting hyped for that. It looks like Misfits getting hyped too. They are a young team riding the hype. Uh, hype does help them usually as a team. Uh, having really, really high vibes together. Uh, hopefully that helps push uh, their energy levels back up. Ready to keep matching up with berries and make them really uh, work work for the next uh, n next couple of points we see. Yeah, I also just want to comment on the mental strength and the, the mental game around a point like that. Obviously, scoring a point for your team is really good for the team spirits, for mental strength, resilience, and all that. But scoring a big physical point or making any type of big physical play can be instrumental. It can be massive in in creating a point like that it looks like um they've a added a few more points to the scoreboard over there oh maybe someone no they just oh. just did now i saw i think there's some confusion on, on the <laughs> sideline over there the opens player who did that now running over back to the sideline naughty man o'leary with the disc now she wants something in the middle gets wind up <gasps> huge bid from ireland not enough to stop mace Broadsworth wants something down the line. Gets one. Oh, hoo, hoo. Hotly contested. Oh. Maybe a little bit too hot. Uh, an instant uncontest for McCall. I love the spirit there. Great display of spirit defensively saying, yep, yep, you're absolutely right. You know, apologies yeah. to, to, to hit you or make that, you know, that go contact. against the rules. Yeah. Oh, and a slice for Broadsworth. Not enough. Uh, just just going beyond her reach uh, and into it looks like Bowen's hands. Energy, that big berry energy. Again, just pushing it a bit too far. You know, mm. the pot's bubbling and it's bubbling over as opposed to a controlled boil. Yep. And yeah, yeah, so now Misfits on offense. McCall, not there. My safe centering pass Bowen. to Bowen. Nogatroid cutting, not free. Craddock is, though. Oh, oh, a thread through to Lewis. Slicey. Bowen, we love to see it. More breaks, please. A lot of congestion right around the disc. It oh. is really close. They need, a, they need to just give themselves some to more crack space. Crack it open, just like that, oh, as requested. Claridge. Wood oh. in position. She had a bite out of it, and it looks yeah. like there's a bit more to that apple that Claridge was looking for, but, but not enough. That hit saw it to ground. And would I'm just going to comment on that. She knows where to be. She's so intelligent. She she can read the space well and, and gets there. Yep. An experienced player. She's seen Claridge play before. She knows that Claridge has eyes for the zone. Speaking of eyes for the zone, we've got Huang with the disc. Big shoulder fake. Firing the entire side. Leads to... Oh, Larry, can she get can there? She? No, it's just out. She has been... So supportive in that those high swinging situations. You know, she's taken to the skies before. And and I'll, I said it in the first half, I'll say it again. Now I want to see them throw it to her bread basket and make life a little bit easier for Rebecca O'Leary. It could be that she's off in the high side swing and there's a bit of there's a bit of wind coming across and the air getting under it often pushes the disc up. Her handlers need to recognize that and help uh, <laughs> really uh, keep that in control. Uh, Megatroy to Bowen. Bowen 
Big Break Bone herself looking for something. And we're hearing the home and away calls from Barry's on the sideline indicating that they're forcing middle. Rolling. Really making those continuation looks challenging downfield. It stops a lot of that flow. A seven cup Lewis. from Murgatroyd not hit oh. and it's a turnover. Tries to reach hmm. backwards to clean that up. Errors creeping in from both teams. Yeah, this I really think force middle is a really difficult force to deal with if you haven't trained against it. Big hark. Bowen, though, wants a piece. Dolan wants a piece. Who's coming down with it? It's Bowen. That's a clean take. Oh, my gosh. Doing the number six proud. Oh, she and sends nice. it to McCall. I Beautiful. love Weindorp's closing speed there. Lewis. Beautiful. And even if you don't get the D, she's set up immediately on the mark. Credic. Faking. She wants something. Credic engaging Ireland. Oh, Great. Nice one at a piece. Defensive energy. Bowen with an open side cut. Sends a hug. Goes oh deep. Oh my gosh, Bowen covered by three different players. Goodness gracious, I think that was really a little bit of desperation on the part of Misfits. They're finding it really hard to penetrate further downfield. Uh, just a little bit of maybe impatience, maybe just wanting to uh, ensure that they didn't turn it in, uh, in this half of the field but really just deciding to push it out uh, and send it deep. Also really exciting, sometimes as a handler, when you're recognizing another co-handler striking into the deep space, no doubt Ireland looking to respect that and acknowledge time that. Time out called by Huang. Not a bad call. Mace not ready for the time, wanting to keep going. She was ready to go to the zone. I want to see Barry's pick up the energy, though. Here, I I'm concerned, as I mentioned before, the pot was boiling over, and we want to see them reduce it to a a gentle but roiling simmer. Mm, yep. I think that's what they need. But also, as we've seen before, after a timeout call on offense, it's, it, it does often result, unless it's a point in the end zone, one throw and one catch, it can often result in a turn. We know Barry's are really, again, well drilled. They're good at maintaining possession. But with the defensive energy that Misfits are bringing out, that can be a challenge. Yes. Uh, misfits, what I would like to see from them on offense in particular is just perhaps moving through more of their players. Uh, we saw a beautiful string earlier here. It was uh, McCall, uh, Lewis, and Craddock really moving up the side. And I mean, that's a string that's not usually interrupt uh, that, that's usually interrupted by names like Ireland or Bowen or mm. Fulton. But in this instance, you know, they they found a beautiful string themselves and perhaps having easier matchups than uh, Berries has recognized. They need to put on those key players. And, you know, if you can take advantage of that and see where maybe there are some mismatches, if any, uh, it's, it's a great idea to do. Um, but just know that uh, you, this is Div 1. You do need to be able to use your whole team if you can. Uh, and Barry is ready to do that. Misfits... Uh, need to maybe step up in some respects. Now, there's a few things that Misfits could do right now out of this timeout call. Of note, I mean... I mean it's not a bad place to be with the disc. You have a handler like Huang who called the timeout, and she's so experienced. She's got underthrows. She's got breaks. She's got hucks. At the same time, if there's a turnover that happens down here, you know, it, it gives misfits such little room to work with in order to make a point. They don't, you know, they don't have as much field that they need to move down. It's, it's they're, they're knocking on the door. So... Yeah, yeah, just a, a, an important place for berries to ensure that they can get the disc out soon and Misfits to clamp down if they can. I think here we haven't seen a zone for Misfits, as you were saying back, but a zone wouldn't be a bad idea, switching the force. Mm. Uh, but just ensuring that everyone is dialed in right now if they can get the turnover, it could be so influential in resulting in a quick point on the board for them. I can they do that? I want to see Misfits sideline more involved in talking to their players and I want to see those maybe less experienced players on Misfits really stepping up and being confident about it because we know they have the skills. I've shown it in the games leading up to this. They just need to put them on display. We're seeing the classic horizontal stack from Barry's right now. Two players going deep. That's Charlesworth and Dolan now coming under, engaging Wood as the reset. Making things really difficult. She just sends deep. a huck. That's it must have been a high stall count. It must have been. Amazing, amazing suffocating defense. Yep. Yep, just as we requested, a testament to Misfits grinding through that. Ireland finding Murgatroyd under a great connection. I was, oh, Lewis with the one-handed stretch grab. I was going to say that uh, Misfits' uh, stack looked far away, but with that gainer, it's no longer far too far away. Ireland looking for options. She wants, she needs a reset. She needs someone, and she gets Bowen. Yeah, nice cut. Lewis coming under, but... 
I think there's some tentative options. It seems that misfits aren't. <gasps> oh no, Megatron! So close. Uh, couldn't lay out for that one probably without uh, knocking into the knees of Huang. These connections, they feel a little bit off. That point felt a bit off. Handlers maybe tentative to throw to the down. A little bit frantic. Yeah. A little bit frantic. It, it looked like that. They need to trust that when that option is there, they need to just take it. Dolan with the under. Oh my goodness, Craddock! Incredible Almost take. got the D. Woods with it though. Wood looking downfield. Looking for the reset engaging Huang. Huang is covered. McCall. Oh, wind up to ground. The sliding styly catch. That looked uncomfortable. It did. Again, this ground is really hard. It's dry. Wood with a massive strike cut. Going to work. She Travel cold. For the <laughs> continuation. Yeah, but no one was there. McCall. Oh, That's no. Looking for wind up. Just around, just trying to push it up the sideline, though. Not looking to reset. And I did see O'Leary slot in, potentially. If they had thrown to her, I hope it wouldn't have been another high one. But it can be dangerous to force it down the sideline like that. Up, disc is up. Oh no, that wind is really playing a <laughs> playing a part in this. McCall managing to read and secure the disc though. She she's looking for someone. She wants. Yeah, lucky bail out there. I think a really nice receiver. McCall just showing sends it deep. They're looking for Claridge. Can she read it? Oh no, it drops just in front of her. And also defensive pressure. While I think defense wasn't in position to make a play on that, Mace, Mace wasn't quite there. Because she was adding a bit of pressure, it made it harder. Harder, you know, to make a catch under pressure, to recognize and be in the space, especially when someone's accelerating towards you to yeah to come out where the disc is dropping just sideways it dropped so fast yep and with the with us getting later in the day the sun is really beaming down on that side she would have been looking right into the sun wind up with the disc yeah. now big oh oh out of the hands of dolan she's not gonna be as stoked about that ireland, ireland moving quickly wants something nice reset Gets megatroid looking for craddock surely oh my gosh oh, nice take from craddock Murgatroyd, nice handler cut. Nice around, finding Ireland around. A great quick reset. Oh, I love this. Critic. Amazing. My goodness gracious, what a good points. That, see, that was that was the confidence that I wanted to see from some of Misfits, uh, less experienced players, uh, in really managing to mix up who's in, who's being really big parts of the play. Murgatroyd really getting in there as a handler, making sure that she's getting looked at when she should be because she's got great handler cuts. She can get free uh, and it frees up uh, other players uh, to sort of go downfield as well. Um, and just credit. Maybe. Yeah. I love that. Also, the way in which they scored that point, I think something that we haven't seen for the past few points that they've put on the board was such quick movement. It, and, and small little jukey plays a lot of quick, uh, almost Japanese-style give-go. Just, just boom, boom, boom. It was a point. It was clean. Players were wide open, low stalls, and, and yeah, just, just open players just taking one step, one little juke to get open. A really well-deserved mm. point to Misfits. The score now 8-10. Yes. As a former, uh, <laughs> from playing on Misfits last year, I will say that uh, Misfits handler offense is jukey, uh, jammy, jinky, uh, all the Js. It's... It's unconventional compared to a lot of uh, more expansive looks that you'll see from uh, teams like Blueberries who want to use more width of the field. But somehow Misfits just make it work. They move down these really narrow corridors and the defense is like, surely they can't go there again. And yet, yet they do. They do go back down uh, just into what looks like it's super, super narrow margins. Um, they manage to just rip the disc anyway. It sounds like soft cap will be going on in five minutes. We're getting reports, so just as a heads up that that will be happening soon. <laughs> yeah, there's going to need to be a lot of points on the board very quickly if they're going to play to 15. Uh, 10 looking downfield. Oh, Hansberger marked by Ireland. Menzies with the disc now. Oh, some big fakes, ankle breaking fakes. Someone buy her ankle insurance. Duffy free, but looked off. Duffy free again, not looked off this time, but the throw execution just not there. Ireland wanting to capitalize, looks to pick up the disc. Uh, Misfit Stakes setting up a little bit far away. I'm loving seeing Fulton and Swinson back on. Ireland. To Lushai. Lushai goes to ground nice. to keep it up. Uh, sends a floating over the top. Who's that going to Swinson? Good Where did she come from? Where did she come from? Uh, looking to swing. Swings to Lushai. Looking deep. Engaging. He doesn't want Fulton. A fake, yeah, indicating that Fulton should clear out. Goes over the top. Oh my gosh, Jolly! Oh, 
Oh, despite Sawyer. the bid, she could have reeled it in. Yeah, I think, again, strong defense going towards it. I don't think Sawyer recognized that it was going to go so far. Props to the bid to try to reel it in. But, yeah, too much sauce on that throw. Yeah, I don't love Lushai looking off uh, Ireland cutting down the line. Uh, she, had she had two handlers cut down the line for her. Looks them off in favor of that over the top. I know we're getting to the business end of the game, but... We really need to, that's, that means safe plays are sometimes good plays. The boring can Nancy's be good. Is looking <gasps> for, oh no, oh, oh this is huge. Ireland no. says thank you, that's mine. Yeah, she's a little bit left out to dry there. Ireland also looking for options, finding Fulton. Fulton faking the downfield and I don't know, There's there haven't been that many run through Drees. An inside out backhand. That's <gasps> beautiful. Oh, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. We have Fulton. Picasso here, Fulton, AKA Picasso. She's painting a picture. And Ireland is the muse just running onto it. You know, and Ireland can, like, she can jump, she can lay out, but why even if if she could just give it to Sawyer on a dinner plate? Oh, how good. Oh, my goodness. I just love that connection between the two of them. They've been playing uh, so much on the handle line together, but equally, both of them are just the most dangerous downfielders. I would say <laughs> out of all teams that play, Misfits maybe have the least uh, role-defined specific players um, in the tournament uh, because pretty much anyone on this field who's up here uh, can move into the handle line and move out and there's not really that many players who I would see just stagnant not leaving the handle line uh, if you know what I mean like none of them would be uh, you know uh, <laughs> That real traditional old style of pure handlers, I never leave the handler line, you know? <laughs> I also want to comment on one thing that I don't, one thing that I don't love that, that point was epic, first of all. Second of all, though, Misfits have been looking off a lot of players who I think are relatively open. Berries have had some strong defense, some shutdown defense. At the same time, I don't think they've had any run through Ds, layout Ds in my recent memory, and there's a lot of safety and conservative throwing from the handlers on Misfits, and I think they could be taking a few more of those options. They could. I mean, we saw that with that string that had some of those uh, uh, those other players who weren't maybe matched up with uh, quite the same as um, Ireland uh, and Fulton have been. And we just saw a beautiful string. We need more strings like that to make more uh, strings. to make Fulton a and tapestry. Cut. Yeah, <laughs> a tapestry of a win. Oh. Menzies with the disc. Good thing the wind held that one up. Oh, Menzies looking middle gets separation. mace. Yeah, Yong. floating to Yong. We can see the lines breaking up now. This is these are some connections, some nice. groups that we haven't seen before on. Bender engaging Ton, finding her around. Nice safe breakthrough. Huntsberger coming under double coverage there, leaving Bender wide Surely. open. Come on, Murgatroyd, catch it. And she does. Swinson. Oh, nice. Big. Menzies Is it Yong? Yong with the foot in. Twinkle toes, the footwork, a little bit of salsa as she stays in as she controls the disc. Great point to Berries. Good ultimate is sometimes boring ultimate. Not that that was necessarily boring, but all the passes were just flat, mm -hmm. well-executed passes to open players. Uh, and and that's, 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 that's clean ultimate. It's clean ultimate. There were also some switches, I think, especially when Huntsberger came to the open side when she came under. I think we'll recognize it, Huntsberger's aggression, her ability to, to take up space to get the disc. It's something that Blueberries have looked to, but the double coverage right now, Blueberries haven't been throwing to her as much when she comes under. Potentially because she's been marked by Ireland, Tessa Swinson, really, really strong matchups. I love to see those matchups, but double coverage recognizing the risk there. But again, Berries haven't really been throwing to her under, so I think maybe some flawed awareness at, at the risk. Mm. Leaves open other players on the field to allow for some really clean, easy movements. But yeah, Misfits with their classic, really intense match defense. Um, yeah, a crack in at that point, leading to, to Barry's capitalizing on it. Yep. Uh, and it is good to see both Catherine Fulton and Tessa Swinson come back on after those really, really big bids that they made. Uh, yeah. Fulton going off on an injury sub, but now back on. I'm back on last point as well, but I just thought I should mention. <laughs> excited to see them. I appreciate that. Thank you, Beck. Good to draw attention to. We've got Crosby with the disc and a zone from Blueberries. Yep. They, oh, nice. scuba. Get out of here, Fulton. How does she look so casual doing it? 
finding Ireland again. And while it is a zone... That's a nice throw in, but come on, you've got to go to it. Duffy yeah, says, I'll go to it. Not a lot of players back to help support that. That it was, was such a beautiful... That was such a beautiful breakthrough through that uh, through that zone, and people just needed to be aggressively going to it, not waiting for it to come to them. Especially with more people downfield as opposed to supporting the deep space. Tan engaging a wide open Bender, dishing to Menzies. Menzies Big fakes fake. the back end. Oh, nice buttery swing pass to Bender. Bender, such a strong pivot there. That went picking up. Engaging oh, Swenson! <gasps> oh, making Tan go That's to ground crystal. to get that uh, pick called. I uh, don't know if that was before or after the throw, but um, I hope Crystal Tan is all right. She just held her head for a second. I love the defensive pressure from Swinson here from the downfield stack. <gasps> it's going to float Floats. Menzies with the disc. Looks off Duffy. Broadsworth is free under, asking for it. Looked off. She's still free. She's still there. Looking for Yong, oh, oh, cutting yes. to the same place. There's been so many cuts mm, to that place. There are. And, and you know, maybe the same thing that I was asking for. We hear the hooter goes. That indicates that uh, soft cap has been called. But, but yeah, as Beck was just saying, a lot of cuts to the same place. And I think Misfits have been so conservative about making those looks. We can see here Berries as well. Finally Bender. sending to that open side oh, space yes, that's please. free. Menzies looking for something. Oh, she wants. She wants it. Tough to see what exactly is happening. Inside, oh, inside, looking for Yong. But I don't think she manages to keep it in hands. Unfortunate. Ireland walking the disc up. Fulton setting up. They've really got to have more misfits closer to the disc. They need some extra support. Crosby yeah. sees it, and she's coming back. <gasps> Fulton. Manages to keep that one in Looks position. Like Crosby's also dropped back to help out in the handler space. The cup is really big, though, with Duffy coming in to help out a four-person cup. This goes wide. Nice job opening up the field. Lewis looking for options. Crosby's now in the middle. Ireland. She could make that break if she wants to. But now Yong recognizing Crosby's there. Oh, nice gainer. Oh, great take by Swinson. Fender looking to get a sniff at it, but not quite enough. Ireland's looking for an around, but no one there. A <gasps> little bit left out to dry. Again, there's not a lot of options opening up for these Misfits handlers right now in the zone, but it results in a turn. Yong with a disc. She's looking for options downfield. They're opening up quite deep. Breaks oh, to <laughs> it's the goes second to layout in a row she's had. This time it was successful <gasps> saving it. Oh, close on Lewis. Yong sends it. Nice Duffy. continuation of Duffy. Looking downfield. Finding Menzies. Menzies in the middle of the field. She's pointing to where she, she wants knows it. knows what she wants, but no one's giving it to her. Engages Yong for the reset. Looking for the inside out, finding Bender again. What? Wordsworth. Looking oh, right. Oh, a little bit of collision after the catch. Oh, Wordsworth spikes I, the disc. Fulton was going for a high five. Yeah. And she goes for the spike. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Yeah, it's a statement. It's a, it's a it's a statement. It's energy. It's a competition. I yeah, a high five would have also been cool. High five would have also been cool. Uh, but they're celebrating. Love to see the whole team involved in that. The whole team running on the field and celebrating that point. Yeah, I think that might have been a bit of an acknowledgement from Fulton about the uh, the contact that happened afterwards. Um, but yeah, I think Broadsworth too caught up in the hype. Uh, fair enough, hype, hype catch. Hype catch. Uh, For sure. And so we've finished that point. That means, uh, with the Huda going in that point, that means it is game to 13, I believe. Adding one to the score. So in the second half, leading up to the second half, and now Berries have, have worked to create chip away at a little bit of a lead. And I don't think anything's out of the question for Misfits. And nothing's nothing's out of the question. We know they can turn up the heat when they need to. But now or is it time for some Beyonce ultimate? We need to see some flawless ultimate frisbee from Misfits out here. We really do. Uh, and that'll start with a clean O hold. Uh, and then it's going to have to be big defense if they want to stop the Berries train from finally coming home from their, with their first uh, Div 1 Nationals gold. Ireland sees it low, swings to Fulton. We're seeing that zone again. Zone Misfits has. really struggling against it in some ways. Swinson versus Bender matchup. Swinson nice. wins. She's such a sky patroller. 
She's Bowen. a fighter, Jen. <laughs> she is. Megatroid. We're hearing swing trying calls. Trying to trying to crack that second layer of that zone. Ireland. Yeah, as Beck is just saying, once they can move past that that massive, you know, <gasps> popper stopper. She's going to hate that. She's upset. It, yeah, if they could have moved past, it would have been everything. But yeah, the the as I said, it can be an ankle biter. In that case, it's a toe biter or potentially a blades of the grass biter of a throw. Yeah, it's a turnover, and we're seeing Menzies approaching. Oh, I, yeah, Claridge on mark. Strong handler. We saw Claridge early in the day uh, making Hammertron's handlers work really hard. We'll see if the same is nice. true here. Centering throw. And and Barry's right now in a vertical stack as opposed to horizontal. <gasps> they shifted. Oh, Ireland trying her best since. <gasps> this is this might be the game. Oh, oh, oh my yes! god. Oh my god. Sugar in bits. Uh, <laughs> that was the most that was massive that was like layout. Shoulder, shoulder high. high. Wow. She's fine. Look at her just uh, just jog that off. I apologize for any sensitive ears at home. I got overexcited about that play, and I'm sh oh, the entire the crowd. <laughs> Give me some water. <laughs> the entire crowd here losing it. Uh, we're seeing that. We're seeing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we need flustered some time. In the booth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit flustered here. <laughs> Sorry, asking for uh, people to get closer. She knows that uh, she. Oh, <gasps> come on, Murgatroyd gets it anyway. Territory. Oh, yeah, yeah, great to see that pressure matched on defense. High release backhand. Murgatroyd showing that she's got flex flexibility with her throws. She's got a lot of different options. Oh, we want to nice. see more of them. Breaking through that first layer of the cup, but now looking for a safe dish. She reset to Ireland, and that big defensive play has turned up the energy right now for Misfits. It's turned up the energy here in the booth as well. It's electric, oh. but not today, says Bender. She's had such a fantastic game. Knows where she needs to be on defense. Wow. We have Menzies picking up the disc. Oh, as a handler who loves playing against a zone, this is Oh, the FOMO is too strong. I want to be there. Sub me in, coach. Ten with the disc. Not today, Beck. Sorry. <laughs> You're doing a great job on the sideline, though. Hansberger with the under. Love to see it in her hands. She's engaging her reset. Finds Tan in the middle of the field. Bender Hansberger coming under. Deep. A nice switch from Ireland. Picking that up. Oh, Tessa! Swanson! Get oh, my God! How many pieces is she going to get this point? I, I mean, I would like to say that's the last one, but if needed, oh. she'll make more. She sends it over the top. Who's that going it's to? It's floating. Bowen. Bowen takes it, it one-handed at peak in the sun. Sends it across Swanson. to Murgatroyd. Yeah. Take your time, my honey. Honey on the throw. Such sweet throws and catches. Love Back to, to see Murgatroyd. the... Murgatroyd. It's nice movement. Murgatroyd, they're fake. knocking... She's got people. <laughs> She's oh, selling the them down the river. Is there. She's there. She's there again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, waiting for options to open up. And I love this. They're patient. They're waiting for it. A high release backhand over the top to Ireland. And they're just waiting for options. Ireland, no doubt, seeing the hands high in the opposite end of the field, cracking it open, sending it to Fulton on the break side. And Fulton oh slicing goodness. it. That's <gasps> it. That's the layout grab. Wow. What did oh I say? God. I said flawless. And, and oh wow. My. I mean, <sighs> Swinson out here. Tessa Swinson teaching us the definition of what that means. And, and then the flawless team, offense, flawless defense. you know, like ah, just recognizing that and striving to that level of perfection. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I am so proud of those Misfits players, all so young, uh, while having lots of competitive experience, just really rising to the occasion if, uh, in the open age record division. Oh. Wow. Also, if you have any good recommendations of um, meditation apps, send them <laughs> through in the comments because Ooh. I'm going to need to take some deep breaths after this game. Timeout's been called on the field. And again, we're playing to 13 points right now. Ooh. So this could be at any point, could be it for Berries. And Misfits, yeah, looking to maintain that um, flawless beauty that we've been seeing. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, uh, meditation cap, uh, uh, please, please send them through. Yep. This game will be berries to lose. They will be starting out on offense for, uh, at most, the next three points. Yeah. Yeah, and as Beck just said, it's when you're on offense for at, for at least three points, it's really your game to lose. Of course, when you start on offense, 
it's expected with your offensive line that you will maintain that disc. You know, offensive lines tend to play a bit more conservatively. Again, as Beck was alluding to before, when you're on the defensive line, it's okay to get a little bit more spicy, <laughs> a little bit more excited with your throws, get a bit creative on the field. But on offense, they're expected to be clinical, to make safe decisions a bit more conservative and see it in. So barriers are going to need to do that. But it, yeah, it's easier to come out on offense because you don't have to grind through a defensive point and then finish that. At the same time, they need to stop the momentum <laughs> that misfits are bringing out. How do you stop Tessa Swinson? Oh, goodness. If you can figure it out, uh, I don't know. You could bottle it, sell it, uh, make a lot of money because uh, it Journals? just has to be... Looking for publications and research in that field. Some <laughs> kind of magical potion because it just doesn't seem that anything natural that people can do can, can actually stop her. Hmm. Right, so a, a slightly longer timeout, no doubt, as both teams are trying to tune in to what they need to do to close out this game. Smart that, that Misfits are standing in the shade. Yeah, again, <laughs> potentially trying to uh, keep that energy at a healthy simmer, keep it running, keep it rumbling away. Mm. And Barry is set to cheer, set to break the huddle. Yep, Misfits need to pull out some more superhuman plays uh, to be able to really, really keep their game, uh, keep, keep themselves in the game. But Berries want this so badly. We know that they've been working and working and working for uh, just so long to get into this final they and to take gold. And in fact, they're, they're communicating that to us very effectively by cheering who wants it, I want it. So we know they absolutely do. If we didn't see the way they ground and their trainings, the whole tournament to get here, they're telling us quite effectively from the cheer that they want it. <laughs> they made it here last year only to be spoiled by ellipsis. Will will Misfits manage to pull off the same thing? We'll have to wait and see. We will wait and see. Hopefully not for too much longer. No. Misfits, this is their first finals appearance at Div 1 and just what an absolutely stellar performance it is. I hope that all those girls who, when they do look back on this live stream, regardless of what the outcome is, they just know that they play their heart out. They did so well and just it's just been fantastic ultimate to watch. Yeah winning as a team together or you know coming out in second place looking ahead to the next season and what they can improve on together as a team big pull from ireland is it gonna stay in mm. that push of the wind just making it drift out they're gonna be setting up on the brick mark wind door yep to set up in the mid middle of the field and we're seeing berries they were previously running a horizontal stack um recognizing that a vertical is what they want to go with now i'm not sure maybe if you were handlers in that space duffy's coming under its stall negative one that's a string switchy movements yep o'leary to ground to pick it up looking back to wind up nice movement wind back to o'leary finally they throw sorry something nice they do i like that down the line lewis covers it Oh, but not the inside. Nice pass. Weindorf looking for options. Some clean movement right now from Barry's. Stall's getting high. Reddick trying to oh, shut down Huang. Love Wong. that throw from Weindorf. Huang looking deep. Who's? That nice looks like that might be catch. game. And that, yep, that's game to Barry's. Insane. A, a clean offensive hold. Exactly what they needed to do out of that timeout. Well done to everyone. Berries have finally brought home the gold. Uh, they've been trying to do it for years. And here they are with just such beautiful ultimate to, to do it, just to finish that off. Put a full stop in the sentence. And uh, I'm sure they're all really, really proud of each other and how they played, and they should be. Congratulations to Auckland as a whole. Congratulations to Berries for coming through with this gold medal in this, the Division I Ultimate Championships 2024. It's been a pleasure to share this experience with you all. Thank you for joining us, as well as the, the growth, development, the exciting level of Ultimate at its highest level here today. We will see you guys soon. Until then, my name is Kelsey Bielik. And I'm Bic Sofa. Matewa.
Multi.tv. Multi.tv.